Hello there, Commanders, and welcome to a special Sun Tzu Academy news update for 2021. I would like to recap what happened in 2020 and what you can expect at the beginning of 2021. To go into a bit of a rewind mode, after getting news from CA in August 2019 that Arena will be back in China, in early January 2020 we got confirmation that the first Arena test will take place in February, but then it was slightly delayed to March. We only got to play a few hours a day and I made sure to max out my time with Arena during that test. Then they announced a new test in April and teased a new faction. During the second test I also made sure to max out my time with Arena to be able to deliver content for the viewers of this channel. But having only a few days to record footage didn't amount to much and I ran out of videos to publish before Arena came back online for good on 23rd of September. Since then I did my best to publish multiple videos a day, but that meant that I very quickly burned through my backlog, and once the initial hype for the game calmed down, the sources of many of my videos also dried up, and that in turn meant that the regular series on my channel started to be a bit less regular. Now that we are all caught up to the current state of affairs, let's get into my plans for the beginning of 2021. First of all, I intend to build up my backlog again so that I can comfortably shift the schedule around as is needed depending on the situation. That will mean that for some time you will only see a few videos a week instead of a video every day. As I will expand my backlog, I will revive the series you know and hopefully love one by one. The first one I'm working on right now is Live Battle Highlight series. After the last episode from the War Games Institute tournament airs this week, it will continue as it was with one episode a week, or potentially two, to make up for the absence of other series as I will work on reviving those. The biggest series by far on my channel, at least in the amount of effort that goes into it, is the Sun Tzu Guide series, where I need to write the entire guide, then record it, which takes multiple takes, then record and find all the suitable footage that will illustrate the various tips from the script, to then finally go back and forth with Astolfo, who's doing a great job at putting all these pieces together, into the final product, that wouldn't look nowhere near as good if I were to do everything alone. And don't worry, the guides will not only be about ranged units and commanders that I play. For the other guides, for infantry, cavalry, etc, I will have various Sun Tzu members who specialize in their own areas help me with those to ensure the highest quality possible in all aspects. In terms of Sun Tzu podcasts that seem to have disappeared, we did actually record one episode recently and I have a few ideas for more. Sadly, the one episode that we recorded just before Christmas suffered from multiple various unfortunate and unpredictable circumstances, so instead I will re-record it on my own as a summary of all the topics, arguments and ideas everybody presented. As for other series like Battle Commentary, Replay Analysis and Battle of the Week, here's where I rely on you, the audience, to come in and send me replays. Since we are on the topic of fun involvement and support of Sun Tzu Academy, you can now obtain various perks for joining the membership of Sun Tzu Academy that, depending on tier, include exclusive videos for members, Q&A sessions about Arena, voting on upcoming videos, for example, do you want a Germanicus or go a new guide to be published first, early access to selected videos, priority in publishing videos from your replays, ability to suggest new videos on topics you want to see covered, partnering up with me, access to Sun Tzu open training sessions, and even invitations to Sun Tzu podcast. Now, what's the ETA on all of this? I'll aim to fully revive all these series by March. Hopefully, CA will improve the game by then and NetEase will step up in the marketing department to revive the hype for the game. As for what I can do to help with that, well, I teased Sun Tzu Invitational 3 some time ago and I'll aim to organize it sometime in March or April. Obviously, it all depends on real-life shenanigans and what CA is up to in terms of development, as I would love to organize this tournament after a new faction has been released, as CA has their own backlog of content they can publish and are waiting for the right time to do it. So no hard promises there, but once all is set in stone, I will definitely announce it ahead of the time. To briefly explain the format of Sunso Invitational, it is a for fun tournament, sort of an all-stars event, where everybody can sign up and participate as a member of one of the made-up teams rather than represent their own team. If you want to see how it works in action, you can check out the two previous editions of Sun Tzu Invitational, links to which are now in the top right corner. And now, I would like to thank you for all of your support you have shown me so far in 2020. 
wish you a happy new year where we hopefully will be able to reach CA's hearts and make them realize how many people are eagerly awaiting Total War Arena's return to the West. But that is something we all need to work on as players. So until then, I'll see you on Arena's Battlefields, Commanders.